out of the three drop slides that start at the top of Kraken Town. Two of them end right here. The other one ends in a different area. Now we're going to walk under Krakatau.
Mackenzie River that's fast, like it moves pretty fast. So we're going to check this out. Aqua coaster stopped like that before. Construction continues on some of the cabanas. So I still have a little bit of time before my next ride, 135 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is get back in the lazy river, the speeding one, or the fast one, and then we're gonna go ahead and do a full loop, maybe even the slow one, and then uh, we'll also do the wave loop. So where am I right now? I'm over by the slides that are very close to I-4, and then I, I have no idea, I don't know the names. I wish I knew the names. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on one of these rafts. They're playing like Typhoon Lagoon music, I think. I don't know. At least I've heard it at Typhoon Lagoon. So, these slides are awesome. Love those slides. Give it a thumbs up. I've been on two out of the five, or sorry, four. I'll try to do the other two.
going into the volcano, Krakatau. So you do go under the volcano, but I don't know if that's the concept art that I feel like that's not the concept art that they showed where you're under the volcano and it looks really cool. I think there's another lazy river that goes under the volcano. I'll have to try that one. That's the slow one, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got some waves. Whoa. Alrighty guys, well I'm about to go into the regular Lazy River which moves fairly slow and from the inside, you do go under the volcano, from the inside I think it looks a lot nicer than the previous Lazy River I just went through, so let's do it.
So this is obviously the more relaxed Lazy River. You get a nice view of the new Cabana Bay expanded towers right there. I feel like it's hard to get a raft in this one, so I'm just kind of walking around without a raft. It's still, it's still nice though, and I really like uh, the cave feature, I mean the volcano feature when you go under the volcano you see all of the rock work, the lighting effects, all of that is very nice. It adds a nice touch. But overall I do prefer the other Lazy River over this one. So I'm guessing that this pool is closed for some sort of reason. I'm not 100% sure why, but I'm thinking that this pool is going to be like a wave pool for children or something like that, or maybe just a regular pool. Not 100% sure, but it's not open right now as far as I know. Over here you should be able to see the drop slide.
as you guys can tell, not all of the cabanas are fully built. Staircase, not fully built yet, and they're still doing some wiring and stuff. Will look nice when it's done. Really got to do this ride though. This looks insane. Yeah, you definitely got to swim out of that. We have a little splash area right here, mainly for kids. It's starting to get really breezy, and even the falls from the volcano are blowing. That's how crazy it is. I wonder if a storm's approaching. Yeah, that's not looking so good. Hopefully I can do some rides before. And I have my Tapu Tapu time, so I need to check that. But hopefully I can do some rides before the storm pretty much arrives and ruins the day. Uh, the thing is, when they, when they have a storm, I don't know if they're gonna close the whole park or just all of the rides. I mean, I feel like they'd let you stay in the park because they're supposed to be open until 10 p.m. tonight. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's so windy, like I was saying, yeah, all of the breezes are taking the water that's fallen from the volcano into a completely different direction. Pretty funny. Can't really capture it on camera. Sort of, Ken. That's all from the volcano. All the water flowing from the top. Going this way. I did this slide two times today. It's actually one of my favorites. It's, it's very enjoyable. Now for the green one, haven't done that one, but I really do want to. So we will definitely try to get you guys on the green one. Hashtag GoPro, <laughs> water slides, Volcano Bay. But anyways, 
Yeah, we should make a hashtag. Hashtag GoPro Volcano Bay. Anyways, like I'm saying, I'm gonna try to get on this one if I can. It looks great, but I don't think it's going to be as good as the blue one that's right next to it. What's really great about Volcano Bay is that they take the rafts up to the top for you. No carrying rafts to the top. They also say no lines, although I have waited in some lines today. So I guess no long lines is really the way to advertise. I don't know. I'm not sure if they advertise no lines or no long lines. But lines weren't too bad. This one, the line for this one right here, is a little longer than I expected. And same for the Aqua Coaster. But again, it's just, you know, they're popular attractions, so it's expected. Anyways, though, these, these slides are cool. I gotta ride this one hopefully soon. Alright guys, so I just waited in line for like the last 30 minutes to find out that they're shutting down all of the park, all of, all of the, pretty much all the rides because of inclement weather. So I probably won't be able to get on anything for right now. There's ride delays on the, what is it called, the Tapu Tapus? Yeah, ride delays. I'm gonna take advantage of this moment and uh, I don't know, maybe vlog the gift shops. We'll do something, something indoors if I can. Oh, the rain's starting to come down. Uh, the Watiri does not like me today. I feel bad for people vacationing. I also feel bad for myself because I'm not going to be back here uh, for a while. This is like my one visit to Volcano Bay. I have the three park pass, but I'm not going to be in Orlando for the summer. This kind of sucks, but you know, it's Florida. I guess the weather is like this in the summer. It is starting to get like this daily where it rains all the time. Um, yeah, so they, it's raining. They evacuated the entire way pool. If you're interested in seeing the different Volcano Bay merchandise, please feel free to check out the link in the description. We did an entirely separate video on all of the Volcano Bay hats, t-shirts, towels, souvenir bottles, and pretty much everything else that Volcano Bay has to offer uh, in the gift shops. So again, please feel free to check it out. We're also going to put a link on the screen itself, on the video screen, so you can click on that as well if you would like to see the different Volcano Bay merchandise. Guys, the park is like completely empty. I mean, obviously nobody's out in the like rain and like, you know, the main park areas. But everyone's like left. I mean, the park is supposed to be open for another hour. If this rain goes away, rain, rain, go away, come again another day. If this rain goes away, I will be happy. But I'm probably not going to be able to do everything that I've wanted to do, which kind of blows. But it's what it is. It's, you know, I should have got Express Unlimited. Wasn't really thinking like that. Anyways, let's check out this gift shop. So now it's sort of drizzling here, but I'm not sure if they're gonna reopen. I just don't know. A lot of people have left the park, and I don't know. I just, I feel like if they close and they don't, you know, reopen any of the slides, I'm gonna leave kind of, sort of unhappy, but I do have an annual pass, so I can come back. And we probably won't see a whole lot of night lighting, and I don't know if they're doing that. It should be like sunny and like, it shouldn't even be dark right now. Because of the fact that we have these storm clouds, it looks like it's like the sun is basically going down. I mean, the sun's going to go down soon, but it shouldn't be this dark. It's crazy. Walking towards the back of the park now. 
see if I can get some photos in some different areas. Um, <laughs> this is not good. Park is probably it's very unlikely that it will reopen, which means that I never I never got to do the green slide. I, I have to come back here. I will come back, and it will be good. They still have the water running, which is pretty nice. But like I said, I highly doubt they'll actually put riders on this tonight. I really like these frogs that they have here on the bridge with the lights. Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit. Alrighty guys, this is the food that I decided to get. I'm gonna try to get some more if I can quickly eat this. This is the pulled pork sandwich with some coleslaw on there, some pineapple lettuce, we got a side of french fries, we got a chocolate lava cake, one of the desserts that they have, with some powdered sugar on top, some chocolate, and then some raspberry sauce, as well as a pineapple pizza, and I'll be sharing it with a couple people, but it's a lot of good food. We're gonna review it, and hopefully it's good. But yeah, check that out, looking good. That is the inside of the chocolate lava cake. Check it out, people. About to try that. So, try the pizza. This is my slice, yeah. Tried some of the pizza. Not bad, pretty good. Has a little spicy kickback to it, but pretty good. Alrighty guys, so I just went over to Dancing Dragons and I got this strawberry slushy with some pineapple and cherries on top. And this is like the only specialty drink I could find. So yeah, let's try it. Well, to review this, pretty good. The food was good. I'll give my full opinion once I get in the car and not, I'm not in this rain. This sucks though. You know, honestly, I know it's not Universal's uh, fault that we got rained out, but this sucks. I'm just like, I'm upset. At least I have this drink to make me happy. I'm leaving the park though. Once again, I know it's not Universal's fault for the, for the whole rain thing, but let's just say I've had some bad theme park experiences. This is, this is one of them. I'll come back on a nicer day and we'll try to make it better. All right, well, here's the entrance for Volcano Bay in the rain at 8 p.m. Nobody around, everybody left. This sucks. Nobody leaves the water park unless it's raining. Or nobody leaves this early unless it's raining. So now the light turns on as soon as we leave. Wow, just wow. You know, I'm not going to necessarily complain about the rain again. I mean, rain happens, but that view is pretty cool. But again, rain happens, so you just deal with it. I should have picked a better day, but I'm kind of, you know, limited on the numbers of days that I'm here in Orlando for. There is one of the Volcano Bay buses. Probably not going to Volcano Bay. That's weird, the uh, Volcano Bay buses are going off Universal property onto I-4. I've uh, never seen that before. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that the Orlando, like, letters right there on this uh, overpass were able to change colors. Like, I did not know that that was even a possibility. But yeah, they, I guess they're LEDs, they can change colors. I think another company owns these buses and that's why they take them off site. Well, it sort of stopped raining in my area, but I wanted to show this. Universal's putting up some new billboards and this one is for Volcano Bay. Looks nice. Now open a new wave of theme park, Volcano Bay. I went on that today, but only two times, unfortunately, yeah.